Hey everyone, I'm Tom. Welcome to my gaming channel. Today I'm playing another episode of Dead Island Epidemic, and it's going to be another deadly crossroads game here. And uh, I think we're, I think I'm fine with playing another game of with mutated ISIS. But first I'm gonna look at um, whether or not somebody's on sale. Armored prices and. Septian and Mr. White kind of are, but I can't afford them. Don't really like Septian, but I would like um, Mr. White. But anyway, I can't afford him, so let's just go. Um, I think... Wait a minute. Uh, I think I can probably... Put another modification in here. Oh, not when I'm not when I'm in the lobby apparently, so I'm gonna go here and put a modification in here, maybe. Anger management. No. No. And your chance of scoring is when attacking barricades and holders. That seems useful. That seems even more useful though. But the critical chance... You know what, I'm gonna go for a demolisher. Good. Awesome. And now we're gonna go back and enter the lobby again. Best of leech, best of attack speed gives both give me a little bit of crit. The weapon itself doesn't actually. It's kind of disappointing. But instead it gives me a lot of attack speed, some stamina and a good amount of fury. So we found the lobby. Okay, and we're in here. Gonna grab my E first. What is this? Welcome back, and I okay. dare say this setup looks good. Okay, now they changed a little bit Scott about the visual Geo stuff. The structure that looked promising. She didn't have the tools to get in, but you do. So. I think it's gonna be time to try out the demolisher modification, which is supposed to give me 30% more critical strike chains against this barricade, for example, and also against holders. So, yeah, I do seem to be critting more than usual. Of course the barricade is immune to immobilizing because it's not mobile to begin with. So we're basically halfway done with this barricade. I would very much welcome it if somebody would help me attack it. But at this point, I would probably be able to finish it all on my own within the time limit for gold. And there it is. Good. Awesome. I'm riding my motorbike, apparently. 
That cancelled it. So there's an old bug back. Like, an old bug has returned that used to be in the game. That is when you... When you leap onto an enemy with your Q, and then the... Then the enemy get ki gets killed before your... The duration of your uh, Q ends. Then this uh, aesthetic bug appears. It makes it look as if you would be uh, riding a, a motorbike or something like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's not bad. It doesn't affect you in any other way. Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. A larger zombie has been sighted. Would you kindly go there and see to it? Yes. We will do that. Mr. Bauer. And that is going to be... A little bit more experience here. Actually a good amount more experience. I'm level 6 now. Awesome. lot of stuttering going on here. I don't necessarily know why because I deleted everything I didn't need anymore including uh, deinstalling uh, Mortal Kombat X which gave me another uh, which gave me another 50 gigabytes or so of of free space. Like holy crap what is this frame rate? Fraps, why are you doing this to me? This can't be real. This is not supposed to happen. This is the spot. Wait for them here. All right, I'm full HP again. So let's jump on Tau, which is not possible. But I should also be doing more damage against Tau now. Or actually, I should have a higher crit rate. That is what Demolisher does. 523 with that crit. That is awesome. Those hits, unfortunately, cannot crit. This was super easy. Yeah, Demolisher really, really helps on missions like this one. Where all you gotta do is kill a hoarder. Basically. Increased, the 30% increased crit chance is really good. Oh man, I gotta get away. Oh, I'm not gonna get away. Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> I hate those runners. Runners are the worst. 
because whenever whenever you're you're full on supplies or almost full on supplies and you're trying to get back to your base it's always gonna be a couple of runners chasing you down and there's no way for you to escape because whenever you dash or whenever you dodge with your space they're just gonna run after you and they're faster so they're always gonna catch up especially annoying is when runners have the ability extra fast that is just that is just nonsense into the earth, guys. I think I think that should be removed from the game because runners are really fast to begin with but giving them the extra fast ability like come on come on that's just that's just silly in my opinion it is quite unnerving to hear a massive zombie roaming about I expect silence after you are done you will not be disappointed, Mr. Bauer. I'm the lowest level here. It's kind of surprising, but it happens. I'm gonna have a rough time hitting as much as I would like to. Because the zombies have uh, a health adequate to the highest level on our team, which is 13. And that's two levels above me. So I'm gonna probably not do as much damage, uh, not do as much damage as I would like. One level is n not that much of a difference. It, it still sucks to be behind, but it's not that bad anymore. We got Dr. Mikova. Does that surprise anyone? I don't think so, because who else would we be fighting here? Okay. Let's go. We already did like 13,000 damage to her. Good. If I can hit her consistently, which is not gonna be possible because of all the blood. Yeah, but she's obviously gonna spawn right around her. I can't get away. I'm constantly controlled. Like, and this guy is attacking so quickly. I'm jumping on you this time. No and then I'm gonna get killed by one of those blood bombs. <sighs> I hate that. That's one of those corrupted walkers that is going to become, yeah, an elite butcher. Or just became one, rather. Good. Okay, so my ultimate is up again. I think I carried it away. Good. My ultimate did a good amount of damage there. But we're not going to be able to finish it in time for the gold medal. That is probably not in the cards for us. Don't stand between... Me and the uh, corrupted walker. Use this. Dodge the controls. Oh, okay. look at that bullshit. So much blood everywhere.
951 from what? Don't tell me that Blood Bomb actually hit me. Because it didn't. I was not standing in its explosion radius, but apparently it it still hit me. So there's two ways of uh, making... Uh, yeah, like that one, I was clearly standing outside it. But no, I still got hit. So there's two ways of making this a little bit easier to tell. Either making the radius on the ground larger, or making the hitbox of the actual bomb smaller, which would I, which I would prefer, but I'm dead anyway. Please, please tell me you can kill her in the, in the next two seconds now. Uh, no, we're gonna get bronze. Uh, okay. You all heard me back up. Bronze is good though. It's better than not having anything. Please help. There we go. I did not get any supplies. But that's fine, I can cover the other people up front. Because I can run faster. Because I'm not carrying supplies. Okay. Only now I notice that we have two fuses on our team. Like that's that's just disgusting damage. However, we still didn't didn't uh, finish the last mission with gold or even silver for that matter. So it's a little bit disappointing. With how much damage we've got, because Charlie's damage is also nothing to sneeze at, you would definitely expect at least silver. However, we didn't play well together, so we don't deserve to get silver here. Or gold for that matter. And this looter is done for as well. I like that. I like that. Oh, so do I. I like picking up looters. 690 supplies is still fairly good though. I like it. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Today was a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. I agree. 15.38 and we're gonna be at 6.90 so let's see what we get our daily PvE reward gives us best of critical hits item already owned okay so that's some some bonus ex experience and we get nothing really okay that's also fine so I hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did, please click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.